Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you've all had a cracking start to your weeks. Today we're going to be diving into VeChain. It's been a little while since we covered VeChain. We're going to be going over some huge announcements in relation to partnerships that lead me to believe potentially VeChain could be the standard for authenticating authentic goods. We certainly see that or the fruits of that starting to show up. We're gonna dive into um, a partnership that's very interesting. And this, in my opinion, is the start of many partnerships in the fashion industry um, to come. Uh, and we're gonna get into this. And this really gets your brain ticking for the sheer scale that VeChain could potentially achieve. Um, we know the counterfeits good markets is absolutely huge. In 2013, it was 2.5% of world trade. So. Not only is VeChain a supply chain blockchain, um, it can not only um, correlate and accurately pinpoint the journey that that good or service has made to get to you, it can authenticate it as well and, and be a cross-reference. And this really pricked my ears up because um, when I was younger, I used to buy silver coins on eBay. And you'd always have to go to a verified seller. Well, in the future, you could see verified by VeChain, you know, in association with VeChain um, supply chain uh, or something like that to know that to, to make sure that you know when you see that, that your goods are um, authentic and can be traced from root of origin. So we're going to get into that in just one second. What I really want to do is dive into the price um, and really just dictate to you. Um, dictate is definitely the wrong word to use, but depict um, the fact that VeChain is just this price, this sell-off has nothing to do with VeChain and its own merit and everything to do with markets and certainly the cryptocurrency market being the way that it is and so heavily tethered to um, Bitcoin. Um, we're also going to take a look at our VET versus Ethereum because you've got this to come guys. You've got what's happened previously to take place again and this is where typically VeChain runs. It's a laggard. We've shown you that in prior videos where we've shown you that typically Bitcoin will lead the market. Your larger altcoins then it will trickle down and VeChain is typically, you know, it gets left behind for a bit and then plays catch up um, with the rest of the herd uh, and it will actually go above and beyond. And we've still got our Elliott Wave theory in play. Um, we're going to get into a number of things. So in relation to VeChain and where it is, you can see that we saw this beautiful bounce off the 0.5 uh, from our Fibonacci retracement. Since then, we saw a continuation to the upside. We bumped our head on this 20 EMA and the 4 hourly. 20 EMA is a good to show relative strength or weakness. If you can stay above them, you're relatively strong. If you're um, rejecting off them and they're acting as a kind of resistance, you're relatively weak. And that's what you've seen. And this is really correlated to Bitcoin. If we look at when VeChain started selling off on the um, 5th of November, 14th of November, or certainly at the 15th, sorry, it's the dyslexic in me trying to come out. Um, you can see that this is just correlated with, with, with Bitcoin. Um, so Bitcoin wasn't having a good day over on the 10th and sort of started this sell off from, I think that was all time highs. Um, and this has really just continued. Uh, and as Bitcoin has decided to sell off, it's kind of dampened and, and, and weakened the momentum behind many altcoins. And, and this is one reason I'm as bullish as I am on certain altcoins out there, because I know that they're held prisoner, if you will, by Bitcoin and it's um, volatile, not the right word, because altcoins are typically more volatile. It's um, unthoughtful um, taking out of moods on the rest of the market. Um, that's a good way to look at it. It's that tide that rises and sinks all ships, and, and VeChain is just a victim of that, like every other coin out there. We know that we've got some coins doing very well, but that's because there's huge updates and, and things like this going on. This is Bitcoin, and this could be a larger play at hand. Um, we've mentioned this on a number of videos, and it could be that you're in some sort of a rising triangle and that you're yet to pop out the top of and, and see that continuation. It's very common when you're around your kind of previous all time highs that you will reject and kind of set up before making a final move. Um, but VeChain actually doesn't look too bad in comparison. Um, it's just, like I say, real it's subject to the, to, to the rest of the cryptocurrency space and where it's at. Um, what I'll very quickly do is direct you to the daily chart. And you can see you are in your oversold territory. Um, but ultimately, this doesn't mean a lot. RSIs typically weren't meant for the crypto space. There is some potential. I mean, there is still room to come down on your RSI, but one thing that could be a potential play is, can you see this is sort of descending resistance? It certainly acts as resistance over here. I'll remove the FIB now. We've kind of gone over the bouncing off the halfway mark. 
uh, and you can see your resistance point here and here. Could potentially be that as you've broken this, very common when you break a trend line of significance, that you come back to retest it before seeing that continuation. So ultimately, it really depends on Bitcoin, what Bitcoin does, but look for support um, at a number of previously tested FIB levels. And of course, um, you know, draw this descending resistance and take a look at where that is and, and, and in relation to where you are. Um, so it could be that, you know, it also ties in very nicely with perhaps the golden ratio or the golden pocket. Golden ratio is your 618. Uh, golden pocket is down to your 0.65. Um, so it just depends. If Bitcoin starts to see strength, you're going to see the market go with it. Um, you are below your EMAs on a number of time frames. You have rejected off it once, which shows a little bit of weakness. In relation to um, where you are in our VET ETH chart, you guys know that we're expecting this to take place and you to go up and make a, um, a new kind of high within this chart, which is obviously you can see this trend line to the upside. You can see on the RSI, certainly on the daily, you know, you're seeing the signs of this in many respects. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Can you see how you come up, you'll sell off, you'll come up, and then you'll see this period of sort of consolidation uh, before then actually making the run. Same things happens here. You come down, you reach your low point, you consolidate before you get that continuation. And you're there today. You've come down, you're consolidating, ready for that continuation. That's what I'm expecting in relation to what the RSI is going to look like. And this is going to be correlated with VeChain doing what it does and catching up in relation to the rest of the market. So I'm not worried at all about VeChain. I think VeChain is going to do exceptionally well. And I think as time progresses and we mature as a space, VeChain's real worth is going to, to shine through. Um, and it is a very um, valuable project. Now, this is... we. we Every single video, we've got another partnership to um, announce. We know they're heavily involved with the Chinese government, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but this is VeChain is proud to lead the delivery of blockchain-based authentications for retail fashion and luxury garments. Remember that Sonny Liu actually worked for Louis Vuitton. I think he was a chief technical officer. I like Sonny Liu. He's a cool guy, very humble. Um, the kind of guy that I'd I, I'd want to back as a, a, a an investor if he was a CEO of a big company. Um, Deadstock, a USA-based vintage fashion market, is the latest to embrace our technology. Mass adoption is inevitable, and VeChain will drive it. This is what we're seeing. You know, he's talking about blockchain being a whoever published this tweet. I don't know if it's a he, she, it, or what. Um, not that it matters, um, but it, it's you know, blockchain adoption is inevitable in the same way that the internet was inevitable, uh, and VeChain is going to drive this side of that adoption. The counterfeit good market is absolutely huge um, and, and VeChain can play an active role. It's trillions of dollars. Um, this is just the um, counterfeits fashion industry, which is round about the record. The shadow business of counterfeits has taken over the globe to become more than a $500 billion industry. And this is gonna to continue to grow. And this is in relation to fashion. You know, you're not taking into account things like medicine, um, um, or pharmaceuticals, you're not taking into account foods and, and electric uh, electric goods, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which can have huge dangers associated with them. VJ can solve this problem, uh, and certainly as we're moving to more uh, towards a more of an eco-friendly um, um, world, VeChain can play a huge role in that. We're seeing that with their CO2 uh, emissions and how they're tracking it for companies. You know, in regards to things like fishing and overfished places, you know, VeChain can play a role in assuring that these things are what they say they are on the tin uh, and that they haven't come from nefarious origins. So I am unbelievably bullish on VeChain, guys, and, and they're growing daily. This is a huge partnership and really the first of many. This shows that the floodgates are starting to open slowly uh, in relation to blockchain getting adopted, uh, and you're seeing this. This is uh, um, Deadstock are a, a, quite a, a well-known company in uh, America. Um and it really just, the reason that I also bring this up is to show you that you've sold off during this time period. You know, VeChain's just got continually stronger, continually stronger, continued to grow. They've got the POA 2.0, which is where you see their um, consensus mechanism being upgraded and the price sells off. <laughs> it, it just, markets are markets, guys. Um, you've got to understand that. This is how things roll. Very interesting how we saw, whilst I'm looking at these charts, we always notice things on the charts. See this double bottom here that really signaled this ending to this? Look what you have here, guys. Double bottom, you could be in an ascending trend line. You know, things look good. You can look at charts a million and one ways, but unless the market's playing uh, the game, 
Um, you know, that he, he can throw a curveball at you. But you, you have got signs of strength there. V Chain as a project has never been so strong. You know, I, I'm a big fan of this project, and I think they're going to do huge things for the world and really implement themselves in a big way. Got to pay attention to Bitcoin on the sort of short term, guys. But long term, V Chain is going to do very, very well. And we've still got this kind of Elliott Wave theory set out for it that sees you uh, go to a dollar above and beyond a dollar, and you're embarking on that wave. Can you see your waves here, guys? One, two, three, four. And now you're on your fifth. That's going to take you higher. Um, than you're prior to, certainly on the RSI and, and, and quite literally in relation to your charts and the price. And that is all I have for you in this video, guys. I didn't want to ramble on too much, but I thought we covered quite a few good points there. If you've enjoyed the content, like us, I appreciate it. So as a comment, remember there's a link to our Discord in the description. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen.